New York, featherweight prospect Michael Conlon, the two-time Irish Olympian, returned to the theatre at Madison Square Garden, the site of his electric professional debut on March 17, on Saturday night and rolled to victory again. Fighting in the co-feature on the card headlined by the Vasil Lomachenko Guillermo Rigondos Jr. lightweight world title fight, Conlon cruised to a one-sided shutout decision against Luis Fernando Molina, 7-4-1, 2-K-0, 29, of Argentina. All three judges scored the fight 60-54 in favor of Conlon, who went the distance for the first time. Molina was willing to mix it up in the middle of the ring with Conlon, 5-0, Forcos, who met him head-on and got the better of him with snappy jabs and quicker hands. Conlon, 26, out-hustled and out-punched Molina throughout the fight. Although he did not appear to be hurting Molina, Conlon threw a lot of punches, applied constant pressure and landed many combinations. Conlon strayed low with a punch in the fifth round, and referee Arthur Mercant gave Molina time to recover, but as soon as the fight resumed, Conlon landed a hard left uppercut. I thought I used my boxing skills very well. He had a hard head, Conlon said. My next fight will be back here in the garden on March 17. This is going to be my garden. I am glad I got the rounds in. I am happy with my performance. Conlon who claimed an Olympic bronze medal in 2012 and was controversially eliminated in the quarterfinals of the 2016 Games, will box again at the theatre on street. Patrick's day in the co-feature of the vacant junior welterweight world title fight between Jose Ramirez and Amir Imam. Junior lightweight prospect Christopher Diaz dominated late replacement Brian P. Wee Cruz, knocking him down four times in a third-round knockout victory. Diaz was originally due to face Casey Ramos, 24-1, 6 Coast, but Ramos withdrew last week, and Cruz, 27, of Port Chester, New York, took the bout on short notice, though he was only three weeks removed from a knockout victory. Diaz, 22-0, 14 Coast, got off to a fast start when he clubbed Cruz, 18-3, 9 Coast, with a right hand followed by a left on top of the head that dropped him in the opening round. Diaz, 23, of Puerto Rico, continued to pour it on in the second, scoring two more knockdowns. The first came from a left hand to the head with about 30 seconds to go. Seconds later, Cruz was on the mat again after getting dropped with a left hand to the body. In the third round, Diaz dropped Cruz for the fourth time with a right hand that caused referee Harvey Dock to wave off the fight 37 seconds into the round. I felt great in my first fight at 130 pounds, Diaz said. It was the performance I was looking for. Now that Miguel Cotto is retired, I am here to stay and become one of the best superstars from Puerto Rico. I hope I bring happiness to my island after all we went through with Hurricane Maria. Featherweight shocker Stevenson, 4-0, 2-KO, blew out Oscar Mendoza, 4-3, 2 Coast, 26, of Santa Maria, California, stopping him in the second round of a scheduled six-rounder that opened the ESPN telecast. The 20-year-old Stevenson, a 2016 U.S.